Hey, we have here today another integral from MIT Integration B 2010. This was problem eight. We have the integral from one to infinity of dx over x times square root of x to the fourth minus one. Okay, now the first thing I noticed with this, now just notice if we change this x to the fourth to x squared. Now, if this was the integral, we could do a trig substitution and this integral would just be secant. I mean, we have to evaluate it, but this is just the integral of inverse secant. Now we don't have square there, we've got x to the fourth. Let me just correct that. But with x to the fourth, it's a little different, but I think it's close enough where we can still use basically the same technique of trick substitution. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my x squared equal to uh, secant of t. Just noticing if this was an x squared here, we'd make the substitution x equals secant t. So we're just gonna make a slightly diff different substitution here. The reason this is gonna work so nice is if we look at x to the fourth minus one, that's the same thing as secant squared t minus one, but we have an identity for that and that's actually tan squared t. Now let's also get a value for x. So x is just gonna be the square root of secant of t. And now I just want my dx value, but I think instead of differentiating this, I think I'm gonna choose to differentiate that. It doesn't really matter very much, but let's just do it that way. So derivative of this is gonna be two x dx. And then here, derivative of secant t is just secant t tan t. But then I want to solve for dx, so we're just going to divide by 2 over x on both sides. So with this value for x, I'll rewrite this as secant t tan t 2 times square root of secant t. But then we can just simplify this with this and write, write it as square root here. So let's just rewrite this. This is going to be square root of secant t tan t over 2. So now we'll make our substitution and rewrite this. So if we plug in infinity in here for x, that's going to happen. Remember, secant of t is 1 over cosine of t. And so if we just notice when t is approaching pi over 2, cosine is going to 0. So when our denominator is going to 0, that's when x is going to infinity. So our t value here is going to be pi over 2. Then evaluating x at one, okay, that's gonna happen if you notice when cosine is zero, when t is zero, cosine is zero is one, one over one gets us back our one, so this lower bound is gonna be zero. Then substituting for dx, we have this value over here, so we're gonna have square root secant t, tan t, dt, but I'm gonna bring this one half out front of the integral. Then here our x value is, where's our x value? Right here, x is gonna be square root of secant t, and this square root of x to the fourth minus, so we found x to the fourth minus one is tan squared t. The square root of that's just gonna be tan t. Technically it would be the absolute value, but we'll notice in this region of our bounds, this is just the first quadr quadrant, so tangent's always positive there, so we don't need to worry about the absolute value sign. And this is really nice because everything's gonna cancel, right? That's gonna cancel, that's gonna cancel, and we're just integrating one. So let's just do this now. We're gonna have integrating one dt is just gonna be t. And we're just evaluating this from zero to pi over two. Plugging that in, we're gonna have one half times pi over two minus, plugging zero in, it's just gonna be zero. So for our final answer here, our final solution is just gonna be pi over four. So there you have it, just a quick trick substitution and everything simplified pretty fast. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.